good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Our race number four will be jackpot one at 1405, 1950 meters. It's a Phillies and Mares 82 handicap. And uh, at the time of recording, what's it? 10 runners that go to post. Uh, we got a rerun for you in the fourth. The 300 escape artist now comes under pressure and Escapologist comes home. Nightingale singing on the inside. Hot Strike's running a huge race on the outside. Here's Hot Strike coming home the last hundred and Escapologist. Escapologist, Hot Strike, they're going to hit it. Hot Strike, maybe. Escapologist, riders seem to lose his reins. Escape artist in behind these runners. On that uh, rerun, I don't think there'll be much that will separate numbers two and three, Graham, and uh, they both have no issues uh, when it comes over, you know, this type of distance. Uh, so stamina, not a question. And, uh, you know, they're nicely drawn as well. One for Mark Dixon, an informed stable, picking his spots, having his winners, and the other, Sean Terry, who is looking to chase down Justin Snate in the trainer's title. So it's an exciting last week and a half, Graham. Uh, that we have. We know what happened last year. Uh, Sean Terry just left it a bit too late, but this year he's got a lot of aces on the, the Gold Cup meeting. Yes, last year the National Trainers Championship did go to the last race, the very last race on, uh, on Gold Cup Day, and we could be in for a repeat. But there's also much at play for the KZN trainers. Right. Uh, it's going down to the wire, particularly between Alison Wright and Gareth Van Sale. Uh, there's two in it now, Greg. There's two in it. Mm. And I think after this race, there's one in it. Okay. Because I'm very firmly in the camp of number one, Pfizer. Uh, she's my nap of the day. Uh, I've banked her in the place accumulator. I will also bank her in all of my other exotic Distance bets. Wise? Not a problem for me. I think uh, the way she won last time over 1750, she came from well off them. Gorgeous girl has come out to Frank the form. That was an average rating of 81. She comes back to an average rating of 75. Clear respect, obviously, for that form line. Hot strike, escape artist, escapologist. There shouldn't be too much to choose between them. Uh, but I'm firmly in the camp of, of number one, Faisal. Faisal, I think she's a very nice type of filly. Well, that's it. Graham has got his banker for you on the card. A race number four, horse number one, Faisal. Not concerned about the distance. Does enjoy racing at this track. I'm, I'm playing a bit wider. I'm going to include uh, that form line that we just saw in that rerun with numbers two and three. Wooden and Glade does come you know, under the radar when it comes to a rating. She's slightly under sufferance, but she's had a few runs here in KZN. And I think the change of surface now uh, from the poly track to the turf could be the answer. And then Escapologist from the Mark Dixon stable. Well, again, you know, you go back to that run behind Hot Strike. Uh, there wasn't much that separated the two stable companions. So uh, I'm playing it a bit wide, Jack Graham, but I'm sticking with my rule. I'm not going more than the five runners here. Uh, numbers one, two, three, six, and uh, seven. Those will be the five runners that I'll be including. But Graham Hawkins, anything else you want to add, Graham? Just that that's your banker bet on the day? Yeah, that's my banker bet for the day, Pfizer. In or out? In or out for Graham Shove it Hawkins. all in. Shove it all in. Put that all the is chips it. In the middle. And I think Graham could be onto something. When you got, not that they haven't been trying for the, the entire season, but when you got trainers that are vying for a championship and it's the furlong to go to the finishing post, the stables to follow. Garrett Fenzel, Alison Wright. It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.